So you're studying for the SAT Math Level 2 Subject Test. You've come to the right place. I'm Dan from WeWillTeachYouMath.com. Guys, when you're using these videos to study, make sure you pause the video at the beginning when the problem first comes on the screen and try it on your own. Most of your practice should be done this way, actively and independently. Then, if after you try the problem on your own, you still find it tricky, that's when you watch the video explanation. In fact, you can use any resources that you have available to you to try to figure it out so that the next time a similar problem comes your way, you'll be ready. Enjoy, and thanks for watching. 15. The plane 2x plus 3y minus 4z equals 5 intersects the x-axis at the point A00, the y-axis at the point 0B0, and the z-axis at the point 00C. The value of A plus B plus C is what? Uh, a lot of folks get kind of worried about planes and 3D and it's not as bad as it seems especially when you have a, a well it's a plane so it's a flat curve just like when you have y equals mx plus b in standard form and it equals a line you can just tack on a z term and as long as there's no exponents involved it's not a curved area it's just a flat plane so we can actually visualize this in the following way imagine that you're in the corner of a room and you have so this is like the corner of a room, right? Let me not do that. And you have, we'll call this the x-axis, this the y-axis, and this the z-axis. So this is like the floor. And these are walls. Wall 1, wall 2. And imagine that you cut out a triangle out of a piece of paper. And you put it so that the base of the triangle was on the floor. And then you lean the triangle so that the, it, its top point leaned up against the corner of the room such that the sides of the triangle were then actually coincident with the wall. So this line, the side of the triangle, is actually touching the left wall and this line is touching the right wall and this bottom one is touching the floor. So these lines are in their respective planes. This is in the plane of the floor, this is in the plane of wall 2, this is in the plane of wall 1. This thing, this triangle, represents a plane. And that plane is defined by 2x plus 3y minus 4z equals 5. And the intercepts that they've defined for us uh, along the x-axis it's a zero zero because a is the only non-zero number so we'll just call this a call this b and call this c and the reason for that is at every point on the x-axis the y and z coordinates are zero so this point if we really wanted to be specific like they did is a zero zero and this point is zero b zero and this point is zero zero c so that tells us a lot more than you might think if we have if we have the equation of the plane, what can we say about the plane at point A? At point A, we know for a fact the y and z coordinates are both zero. So that means, so let's say, let's actually write this out. At point A, at point A, uh, y and z are both equal to zero. So this equation of the plane ends up boiling down to 2x equals 5 which is to say that x equals 5 halves. So the x coordinate at a is 5 halves, so a equals 5 halves. And we can use the same procedure to find b and c. At point b, and again this is the same logic, at point b, x and z equal 0, because at every point on the y-axis, um, yeah, on the y-axis, the x and z coordinate is 0. So b is no different, which means we can actually plug in 0 for x and z, and we'll get 3y equals 5, which means that y equals 5 thirds, which means that point b is 5 thirds, b is 5 thirds. And lastly, for c, we set at point c, we can set x and y equal to 0 which implies that minus 4z equals 5, which means z equals 5 over negative 4. 
and now it's just a matter of answering their question which because we've now located a B and C they want to know what is a plus B plus C so I think we're just gonna have to add some fractions here right we have five halves plus five thirds minus five fourths uh, so common denominator is 12 so this one needs to be times 6, so that's going to be 30 over 12. This one needs to be times 4, so that's going to be plus 20 over 12. Minus, this one's going to be times 3, so it's minus 15 over 12. So everybody's over 12 now, we have a common denominator. So that comes out to be 50 minus 15, which is 35 over 12. That is A plus B plus C. So hopefully this gives you a really quick view into planes and how they operate. Hi, thanks for watching. If anything's still confusing or you need a little extra help, drop me an email, leave a comment, or give me a call. I answer every message. And if you want to check out more videos like this, visit wewillteachyoumath.com. See you in the next video.